lots happening here in the region, including uh, tomorrow here in Cornerbrook and in Woody Point on Saturday, presented by Gross Morn Summer Music. And the uh, performers of that show in here today, ladies and gentlemen, the once in studio. Good Woo! morning. Woo! <laughs> yes, How's it going today? Going great. Welcome back to the Best Coast. Yeah, yes. I hear you, man. Uh, yeah. And I know you've had a, a very busy day today, so we do appreciate you uh, squeezing us in for a couple minutes coming in. Man, we've been up all night. Yeah. Up all night. So, yeah. so you're like me, yeah. you've been up all night. Yeah. Blue Jays played last night. No Absolutely. Nailed it. 9-1, baby. Nailed it. <laughs> Gonna win the series tonight, too. Uh, yeah. Well, they got to win this series, but the, the series I'm most worried about is the one in October and November. Yeah. One day at a time, man. Uh, I guess we got to go it's one pretty one, irritated one that New York won last night. That was irritating. You know what? Here's the way it goes. See, whenever the Blue Blue Jays lose, the Yankees lose. What is going on? Uh, but they did have that great series the weekend, so they did make up a bit of ground there. Yeah. So we can't I'm really loving that, that Price has been at batting practice the last <laughs> couple of weeks. He's showing up, man. He's got the ankle guard on and everything. See, uh, the first one I noticed. For the fence. He's, he's drove in a run, man. He drove in a run. His, 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 well, all, all I noticed was the, the first at bat he had last night. Yeah. One pitch, one swing, yeah. and he was out. Yeah. So. He, well, he's leading the league in uh, in uh, ground outs to third for pitchers. <laughs> well done. With, with eight at-bats this year <laughs> yeah. now, I think it is? He's trying. He's doing his best. Yeah, he's doing his best. Uh, anyways, that's a good bit what of What are we talking about? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think we're here to talk about baseball no, today. Gonna, anyway. you know, we're just talking about the Monarchs if we're talking about baseball. <laughs> I mean, we can sit here and talk sports all day. I thought we were here for the sports segment. I have no problem with being here talking sports all day. I can do that, no problem. I do love that you said the best coast, though, because I do find it irritating traveling the world and having to explain people that the West Coast is not BC. <laughs> well, you know, unless you're talking about West Coast. Uh, well, but I thought Victoria it's... BC was behind Carbon Air. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you uh, <laughs> well, you say you've been traveling the world. It has been a busy couple of years oh, for you man. guys. Uh, you're not just Newfoundland treasures anymore. You're Canadian treasures now. Uh -huh. You're right up there with, I would say, Anne Murray. <laughs> yes. All right. so put Mr. Dress Up Number Two Get and the and the McGarrickles, right? And and, and 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 the star of the Beachcombers, Bruno. I'm trying to remember his last name. Bruno Jerusi. <laughs> Yeah, wow. that, that would be number oh, three, man. but you'd be right up there. All right, well, it's Mr. This Dress is, Up. I'm, I call, well, I'm quoting this. I call Finnegan your case. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. Oh, I'll take anything from Mr. Dress Up. There you go. Whatever, like, it's win-win. I'll be alligator out. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, like I said, you've been all around the world. What are some of the highlights of, of the past couple of years for you guys? Mm. Uh, you comparing us to Mr. Dress Up actually was a <laughs> personal highlight. I only hope someday somebody does that for me, too. <laughs> Uh, I would say still the one that, that really sticks in my mind is recording a Prince song in Prince's dressing room from Purple Rain in Minneapolis. That, that uh, okay, was that Prince was there at the time? He wasn't there. He was, he was out. We he couldn't was out. believe it. Yeah. <laughs> we I was couldn't think, believe it. I was thinking back to that segment on the Chappelle show where, where Prince and Charlie Murphy <laughs> played basketball. And I didn't Shirts know and probably, blouses, yeah. If maybe he had you play yeah. basketball, too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so <laughs> let's talk about these shows coming up this weekend. You've got one here in Cornerbrook tomorrow night and mm -hmm. one in Woody Point on Saturday afternoon, that one is? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. talk a little bit uh, about what we can expect to uh, see at those shows. Well, we got a quartet and we got a little... Should we tell everything? I don't want to tell everybody everything. Well, you just told. Prince, <laughs> Prince, Prince may or may not be yeah. there. <laughs> no, it's really cool. We have uh, uh, Sport Summer Music, uh, Dave, Dave Maggs, who's done, uh, you know, that's kind of his baby. Uh, mm. He and I grew up together, so we've always been kind of looking for stuff to do. And, and uh, they've done such amazing things up there that we keep just trying to, you know, jump on board of it. And uh, and every time we do it, we try and kind of do a little bit more. And uh, and this time we've got the uh, Atlantic String Quartet and, and Dwayne Andrews, who has done the... Uh, the composition. Dwayne went back to school, learned how to write music, because you know, he conquered everything else musically. He's like, oh, might as well learn how to compose, too. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> and uh, talented, talented man. Can and you feel then, the love in the building? Here oh, it's, 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 it's respect bordering on jealousy. Yeah. Yeah. That beautiful moron. Yeah. So uh, we're going to get up there and, uh, and and do that. So there'll be... Uh, it, it, we, we had some rehearsals at the Munn School of Music, and it's the first time I walked into the Munn School of Music and felt cool. <laughs> Instead of just felt like, you know, ashamed yeah. that I don't know anything. About so one of the first times I walked into the school of music, it didn't feel nervous. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, right. Yeah, so it should be should be pretty pretty epic. We're, we're very excited about it. Yeah. Uh, so where can we get tickets? Where can people get tickets if they... I assume there's still some tickets left for these shows. Anyway. I don't know. We don't know I'm anything. not quite sure. It's, on, it's all on the Gross Morning Summer Music web and their Facebook page. Okay. You yeah. can just... There's a link right there and we'll share that too on. later on on, yeah. uh, on our facebook and twitter pages too uh i know it's been uh like i said a, a very busy time for you guys but after these two shows you get a, a little bit of a break don't you and then you're back on the road again for the remainder of the year pretty much yeah i mean what's a break really right like <laughs> you know after uh 
uh, Departures came out at the end of last year. I mean, we're kind of finishing up uh, uh, touring that. And, uh, you know, so it's, it's constantly thinking about uh, writing and recording another record. And, and we've already got, you know, plans in the works for for what we're going to be doing next year. So, uh, you know... Uh, Consider it more of a writing retreat. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, it, it might be a physical break, but but mentally and yeah. emotionally it is, uh, it's, you know, on all cylinders, right? Because it's a strange thing when you're on tour. You know, you, you can, for a little while, enjoy the luxury of going on automatic pilot. You've done all the work. Album's recorded. You just got to get out and play it. Yeah. But then and, people uh, get bored and you have to have something else. Well, I think we get bored first almost, <laughs> we get though, bored. you know? Yes, that's just you know, because you still go to shows, and I mean, we, we hear those songs a lot more often than the audience. <laughs> right. you know, they hear it one night. Exactly. We hear it every night. It's not like a poor old Eagles or anything like that. You know? <laughs> That's right. But but still, you know. Ooh. No, I just Ooh. mean I just mean that they have to play these songs a lot of times, and yeah. we like each other. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. It makes it easy. Today, today. Incidentally, yeah. top grossing <laughs> band of 2014 was us. The Eagles. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, they yeah. did. Ha they yeah. did have a big tour, though. They pretty much played everywhere last yeah. year, yeah. Yeah. even here. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, you know, obviously they're doing well. They've warranted a three-hour documentary. So. Huh. Well, there you go. Anybody seen it? Netflix? I have not seen that one. Not no. seen it. Yeah, watch it. I've been waiting because actually the Keith Richards one comes out tomorrow on Netflix, no. so I've been waiting really? for that one. Come yeah. on. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, big Keith Richards one coming out tomorrow. Come on Woo. tomorrow. <laughs> Hurry up tomorrow. So is this the last time you're playing here this year, I guess, would be the last time. Is it the last time in the province for this year? Um, maybe. We'll see. We'll let you know. <laughs> There's some stuff in the works. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. Maybe, maybe not with Prince. Yeah. <laughs> Wait and see. People are just going to be showing up, waiting for Purple Rain now. Totally. Yeah. I don't know what you're doing to them. the way we like it. Build anticipation and then Drop. pull the rug out from under everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Disappointment. So once again, it's tomorrow at... Uh, which church is it again? I can't remember which First church. United. First United tomorrow mm -hmm. and uh, Saturday at St. Pat's up in Woody Point. That's right. Uh, we will share all the links on the K Rock Facebook and Twitter pages in a little bit. Ooh. Anything else you guys want to share while we're here? You rock. Can I get that in writing? Yes. <laughs> Can you tell that to Mike Payne on the way out? Mike we Payne. will tell Mike Payne. Where's Ross? <laughs> so does Mike Payne. Uh. Uh, no. uh, you can cut that part if you like. Yeah. You, guys, you guys can leave. <laughs> Actually, before you leave, we're going to play one tune uh, from your latest album we have here. Here's a tune called Fool for You on 103 Nine K Rock. Thank you. 